So, today is kind of like a mini vlog, but it's a pack with me video because I'm on holiday for the second and final time, and it's, this time it's a UK holiday, which I'll explain more about when I actually pack. But, have you seen the weather outside? We're literally in the middle of a storm. Like the wind is blowing everywhere, it's chucking it down. And this weather does not bode well because it's a UK holiday. It is warmer down south, but yeah, not too sure. So I might have to pack some raincoats. But I'll have to test the temperature before I think about do I go for winter coats or just like a thin rainproof. But I'll see you in the pack me video, but I thought I'll just, because when I pack, I prop you on my tripod, so you won't be able to see the weather outside, but it isn't great today. Um, I'm going to get dressed and have some lunch. Have a shower, get dressed, have some lunch, and then see you for the pack me video. But we're currently in a river of storm, so I have to adapt what I'm packing. Um, I was going to take a rain proof anyway. I might have taken an actual coat now as well. Like a proper coat. But anyway, I'll see you in the pack me video. But yeah, this storm hopefully stops. If it's only for the first day or two then it'd be alright we're going for a whole week. See the sun's coming out a little bit but we'll see. I'll see you in my pack me video. I'll see you when I get packing. And I might do an outfit of the day too. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Actually, you can't see me, so I'm going to sit at the front. So, as you can see, the weather you can't actually see through the window, quite bright, but it, we've got a storm. It's like very windy, very rainy. I have so much to do in this video, as you can see. It is a, it's actually very windy, very rainy, but warm. It's like, I can check. It is currently. 21 degrees and it's a storm, it's more like a tropical storm sort of. So as you can see my suitcase is back out um, which means I am going on holiday. Um, I just read a message that popped up. Um, so about three weeks ago, I think it was three weeks ago we came back, so probably about a month ago I packed, I went to Greece I went to an island called Crete, let me move this side, an island called Crete in Greece and as you know for Greece it's abroad, it's hot, all you really need is jumpers, no not jumpers, I, I'm, I'm too much thinking about what I'm packing today, all you need is like shorts and t-shirts, flip flops, beach wear and all of that and you don't actually need that much because I went for a week Saturday, Saturday and I have and we stayed in a hotel, two bedroom hotel. Well, actually, more like an apartment. But I didn't fill my suitcase because I only needed shorts and t shirt for a week. And I went to Greece and I had such a good time. And that was my mum and sister. This time it was my dad and sister. And we're going on a UK staycation. And I don't know about you, but I love a staycation just as much as going abroad. I like a bit of both. But if it's like today's weather, rainy, stormy, windy, I, I need my window open, it's that hot. But I went to bed last night with it open and then it was shut by the time, it was shut by the time it was morning, the wind blew it shut. So we are actually tomorrow morning off to Devon and we might also get a day trip to Cornwall. So if you list every single place I've not been to in the UK, which is most of the country, Cornwall is top of my list. It looks amazing and I really really want to go so we're actually off to a place called Devon we're off to a holiday resort we're off to a caravan and I haven't stayed in a caravan for ages that like one of them holiday home caravans and I'm so excited and it has quite a bit of room but not like bags of room like I'll say you have a big living room but you don't really have big massive storage space and like bedrooms and stuff but Devon, if you don't know, is, well, if you know Cornwall, which is right down south, Devon is, like, just on top of it. So I would say it's slightly closer, 
but it's easy, accessible to go for the day. So if you're not keen on a massive journey, <clears throat> you could go to Devon and then just go to Cornwall for the day. I don't know how close they are together, but it is easy for a day trip. Um, I would also say that Devon, well it's going to be a bit like this, down south is usually warmer as well. It's going to take us five or six hours to get there. So, <clears throat> and that's without stopping, because chances are in that length of time you're going to stop at a service. Um, <clears throat> when it came to Greece, all I packed was shorts and t-shirts and swimwear and like do you take a sun hat 100% now I'm like debating it I have so much stuff beside me that I need to pack because when you go on a UK staycation the weather is all over the place you need your shorts and your t-shirts well I probably won't wear shorts but shorts and a t-shirt in case it's warm but you also need like right now you need a raincoat you need trousers, jumpers, raincoats Instead of flip flops you need like walking shoes so when I went to Greece I did not fill my suitcase I did not fill my suitcase because all I had was shorts and t-shirts but also off to Devon for a week seven, Saturday to Saturday but my suitcase is going to be probably full whereas Greece it was probably like half full it was like fully full on this side but then this side only had a couple of things in, whereas this time it's going to be full, like full full. Even though it's the exact same length of time, just because of the jumpers and the coats. Because I took one jumper to Greece and I wore shorts. Even pair, packing a pair of trousers with a pair of shorts is bigger. And then you're packing hoodies, you're packing coats. So we're off to a holiday resort in Devon. And I've got so much to pack. So whatever I didn't, what, so it's going to be the complete, I thought I wasn't convi I wasn't 100% sure whether to film a pack with me video. Because I'm like, I only just did one for Greece. But then I'm like, it's completely different stuff because it's UK rather than abroad. Also, I am going to try and daily vlog, but it might not turn out like that. But that's the plan anyway. And we're going tomorrow morning, so the vlog starts straight after this. I like to do my holiday vlog, my pack with me last before I go really warm in here. Last before I go to the next like, holiday series. When I went to Greece there was eight vlogs, eight days. Eight, cause it's seven nights, eight days. Um, Devon's going to be the exact same. And it's also Saturday to Saturday again. Eight days, seven nights. And let's get into the video. If you do like this video please give it a massive thumbs up. Subscribe down below. I'm so excited because I love a staycation just as much as abroad. But one thing about a staycation rather than going abroad is the packing's a lot harder because you go abroad and you're like, yep, sun hat, sun cream, shorts, t-shirt, bikini, done. And maybe flip flops. Staycation, you're like, do I need a jumper? Do I need a coat? Do I need shorts? What do I take? Whereas going abroad is a lot easier. But I've got loads of stuff on the side. It looks more, but it's actually not that much more. It's only like a few jumpers and coats extra. Um... But yeah, my suitcase will be a lot fuller because of the jumpers and the coats. I've also got a helmet to fit in as well, so it's going to be a lot fuller. Because a t-shirt and a pair of shorts takes up no room whatsoever. Shorts and t-shirts take up no room whatsoever. But then if you change your shorts and the t-shirt to a coat, then... So, let's pack for Devon. Um... So it's the exact same as Greece, but completely different clothes. Like I'm packing in the exact same suitcase. I'm packing in the, what I meant by that was, I'm packing in the exact same suitcase for the exact same length of time, Saturday to Saturday, but it's completely different clothes. Well, t-shirts and stuff stay the same, but like, what I'm saying is shorts and t-shirts, and today we're doing coats and jumpers. Anyway. Please give it a massive thumbs up, subscribe down below and let me know if you're looking forward to the 8 day holiday vlog. If you haven't already seen the Greece holiday vlogs then go and check them out. They're about 2 weeks ago now. There have been quite a few cooking videos since. Or if you haven't checked out my Flamingoland vlog, 
then go and check out that. That was literally two videos. I didn't get that. Could you try again? Why is my Siri going off? Um, and the finger on vlog last week. Well, it went up a couple of days ago, but it was a week ago that I went. Because I've, I've had a few things on this with like interviews for jobs and applying for jobs and stuff like that. So it's currently 3.50 and I want all this done by quarter past, ideally. I'm not going to show you everything individually like I did with uh, the Grease vlog because there's a lot more of it because there's jumpers and coats and stuff. So, yeah, let's get into it. And I hope you enjoy the staycation vlogs just as much as the Grease ones. And please, please, please go and check out the Grease ones if you haven't already. And if you and this was my magnet from Greece. This was my. I've also got a Fmingerland one up there too. Actually, I'll show you. Cause I don't know if it ever made it into the Fmingerland vlog. And then I'm also going to get one for Devon. And if we go to Cornwall for the day, get a Cornwall one. I literally, I literally love. I know some people are just like staycation the nice, but I prefer going abroad. I love both. But I wouldn't do a staycation over abroad, I would do one of each. So this summer is perfect. Because the reason being we're doing a staycation is because going abroad at the moment is a bit risky. And also I think France, Netherlands, Croatia have all been added to the quarantine list. And I'm pretty sure when we get back, my sister hasn't got, well my dad's probably got to go back to work. My sister won't have two weeks before school. We can't afford to quarantine for two weeks. I can, but they can't because they've got work and school and stuff. We don't have time to quarantine for two weeks. Say we go somewhere, but then whilst we're there, they change it to two weeks quarantine. We'll be, we'll be stuck. We can't risk the two weeks quarantine. And we've already been to Greece. And it was completely safe, but we just don't want to risk it because other places have gone into lockdown, like Croatia and France and all that, so we just can't risk it. We don't know where's next. But I love a staycation just as much as going abroad. So let's crack on and pack. And it is a lot more, but that's just because it's in the UK and you don't know what the weather's going to be like. So let's crack on. You always you always start with like shoes. So I say, let's put some shoes in. Oh yeah, there's going to be a pile of stuff that I'm putting, that I'm taking. It's going to be a pile of stuff that I'm taking, but I still need it before I go. Like running shoes, I've got to run today. But then again, it's raining and windy outside. And I can't have my window open because I get blown shut, so I'm gonna try and do this rapido. Well, quickish. So I've also got some bags to put some like dirty like stuff in like the very first thing. It's gonna go in one of these bags. Last time I think I stood when I went to Greece, I think I stood at the back before we've seen it. So in that bag. Um, these are my walking shoes. Well, I'll say that. These are my mum's walking shoes. She didn't wear them because she gave them to me about a year ago. And these are the perfect things, but they're really dirty underneath. So they are going. Everything has, everything has to fit in this suitcase because it's huge. But I'm just thinking coats could fill up half of it because my coats are pretty big. So I'm going to roll up my shoes. See, that's already a massive chunk of my suitcase like taken up and I know like, I took degrees of like flip flops and sandals so despite it's the exact same amount of time as Greece exact same amount of time Saturday to Saturday the suitcase is going to be rammed compared to Greece because a pair of walking shoes and a coat compared to a pair of shorts. And um, I've also got these shoes, which these are basically I've basically got smart pumps. You can't actually see me if I stand up at the front. That's the problem. Let me try and oh. don't know whether that worked. But basically, I've got smart pumps and non-smart pumps. So these are my non-smart pumps. What I mean by that is. It doesn't matter if they get dirty. Now, oh, I've just wrecked the studs. These are my smart pumps. These are my white Converse. They are a bit muddy at the top. Well, you can tell they've been worn. 
because they are a bit muddy at the top but I don't want to get them any more dirty I'd rather not get them dirty I might clean them a little bit before we go but I'm not sure so I won't be like day to day wearing these these would be like evening like if I clean them up a bit they can be evening shoes um, and stuff like that and these are going to go down here because I wear them tomorrow I actually don't know what outfit I'm wearing Actually, you can't see me when I'm out the, the front, which is bugging me. Um, um, what do you call it? I don't know my outfit that I'm wearing tomorrow. Right, let's get this a bit more rapido. How do I change it so you can see me? That's probably just as... That, that, that's worse, so I'll put you back how you were before. But now I need to straighten you. It is like a mad world problem. So the next thing, um, I've got some running shoes. And as you know, I'm running today, so they can go down here. Um, I've got some slippers, because it might be cold. And they're quite bulky, big slippers. I've also got... Um, these slippers so I might take both I need to stand these slippers these boots like this side's already like pretty full and all I've got in are some shoes and slippers so the next thing I've got is my winter's coat because you don't know what the weather's going to be like you need a winter's coat I haven't worn my winter coat in a while, but you never know. Winter's coat. That's going to be like my main coat. But what I've also got is my light rain jacket. Which I wear all the time. And I'll be running in this because it's raining today. So that'll go down here for my run. Um, I've just knocked over a game that I was planning on packing and now I can't get it shut now I need to try and get this game to shut right I might get this game to shut in my own time because it doesn't like it's shutting we don't actually need instructions I could take them out but it was shut that's the problem and I knocked it over oh. I might put that inside my rucksack when I get to that part um, I've also got a big blanket in case it's cold um, I do take this sometimes if I go stay at a family's house or I do take this occasionally when I'm staying at family's houses I would say this site is basically full and we're not even we're nowhere near halfway so I'm very concerned because there's no clothes in there yet at all right I need to make sure this helmet goes in I would say that side's basically done. I've also got a um, winter's hat, just in case it's like really, really cold. I've got some gloves behind the camera as well, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how much room is gonna be in this caravan to like put stuff, so I might be living out of my suitcase. But I've got some games. I've got Monopoly Deal. I've got Uno, cards, Matomino. And 
I've also got this Yahtzee game that fell apart. Um, next, let's do like on like I have. So we are running whilst we're there. So I have some running socks. Hmm. One pair, two pair, three pair, four pair, four and a half pairs, and actually. Actually, five pairs, six pairs. I'm not going to need all these, but um, I might as well put them in. I need to keep a pair out to run in, so I'll keep them to run down there, my pile of stuff I still need. Um, I've got another pair of running socks, but I don't need that many. I haven't actually got that many socks, like actual socks, like at all. So if you go to my actual sock, I actually bought these IKEA boxes fairly recently, which I haven't shown. There's two of them. I really need to speed up because I've been filming for ages and we're nowhere near the end. It's going to be longer than the grease one. It's going to be longer than the grease vlog because obviously there's more stuff. So I need seven or eight pairs and a pair for tomorrow. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a pair for tomorrow. And that is an empty basket. I'm going to quickly put some pants in, which aren't really that exciting. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I thought I didn't have enough socks, but clearly I do. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah, these are my three new ones that were in my last Jack Wills haul. I don't know if you can see them. So that's nine pairs of long socks, which will probably be enough. And then I need about eight or nine pairs of pants, which can just. I rather overpack on pants so then you don't run out. Um, and then I've got some left in there for my drawer. And then we go bra and swimwear, which I did have. Everything's vaguely organised. Everything is vaguely organised when when I look at what I've got. I've got three bras. Actually, I've got a brand new one here, which is the plain white one, which I might as well take, so that's four. And I would say this side is now done, because I don't know how much more I'm going to be able to fit in it. And I've also got a... This helmet isn't going to be easy to help it shut. I say... I would say... I would say that means we're halfway through packing. I would... I don't know where the other half of this thing is. I would say that means we're halfway through packing, but there is still a lot more stuff to go in this side, like basic clothes and stuff. So, what place we're going, it actually has a... Um, it has an indoor pool, an outdoor pool, restaurant, bars, arcades. So I've got a costume because it might not be that warm. Then if it is, I've got a bikini as well. I don't know how warm. I'm not sure how warm it's going to actually be. I thought with a mask suit like this, I could never run out of room. Clearly I can. So now we've done that. I haven't even got my jumpers in yet and I'm taking like four. So I've got my running tops. All four running tops. Actually I'm going to move around back to the front because you can't see me. So my pink running top. 
my grey running top with red dots on the shoulder and I've got my green running top don't matter if you fold them or not because I don't iron them and then I've got this running top and then it's also got a 2 metre distance thing on the back um, let's do pyjamas next they were just running tops pyjamas I've got my Hollister pajamas which I live in. My warmest pajamas I've been wearing here because it's been quite cold. Um and I've also got these next pajamas. And this is like a short sleeve t shirt, the one was long sleeve. So I've got pajamas. Um now let's do like day tops. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I've got pink. I don't know what I'm wearing tomorrow yet. I don't know what I'm wearing tomorrow. I don't know what I'm wearing tomorrow. So one of these might end up coming back out. But I've got a pink Hollister one there. My new, my new one that's from my last Jack Wolf haul. I'm not unfolding these. My green Jack Wolf t-shirt. My blue Jack Wolf t-shirt. My pink Jack Wolf t-shirt. Bit of a theme coming on here. My Levi's pink t-shirt. And my light pink stripy Hollister t-shirt. That is... That is... Seven t-shirts if I counted that right. Um, I have another blue one here. And I also have another pink one here. I almost bought an orange Jack Wolf t-shirt the other day. But as you can see I don't need them. I do have more horse t-shirts than just two, but um I don't know what I'm travelling in, so one of them may come back out. Um, I found some more pajamas, which are these um, star pajamas. And I've also got um, a pair of shorts to go with one of the t shirts just in case. These were originally with one direction on top, but that went years ago, just in case it is hot. Um, I feel like we've got tops, we need trousers, we need like bottom halves, which I haven't. I've got my everyday running trousers, but I need them to run in, so they will go down there and then pack later. Um, I've got my Jack Will, my brand new Jack Will jeans, which I love. And I'm gonna wear them tomorrow, so they can go down here. And I've also got my um, new look jeans, my everyday new look jeans, just in case they get dirty or something happens. I need a backup pair of jeans. Um. Um, just in case, I have a pair of joggers, blue Jack Wolf joggers, which are fairly new. Because they were in my my first Jack Wolf haul, and I had to, and I exchanged them for a different size. I just got a size up, so you may have seen that where I got these. Um. Now, I've got a pair of shorts. This is a just in case, they probably won't get worn, but just in case, Jack will short. So I've done t-shirts, now we need, got a few evening attires. This is my brand new Jack Wolf's dress, which I haven't actually worn yet. That is coming with. And um, I've also got, this is what I call my my day to day evening outfit if I go out which is never 
which I love. I can wear both of them with my white trainers if I, if I clean them up a bit, which I have time for. And I've also got a, um, a cardigan to go with. And I might put a few short socks in because I actually sleep, I actually sleep in uh, socks. So I end up wearing like two pairs most days. So if I can find some like um, short socks, that'll be brilliant. Some extra socks. I do wear socks in bed, so a few extra socks. Now we go to the jumpers and the hoodies and stuff. Actually, let's put bags in. So I've got this little bag, which I'm actually used, hence the ticket to Greece. If I go for like a little trip, on my little bag. It's not like my day to day bag, that's just like. I've got a beach bag. We are going to the beach, but I don't know how warm it is or if it's gonna be if I'm gonna need that. This is gonna be a real squash to get everything in. I haven't even got hoodies in and my suitcase is full. Like full. I thought I had bags of room. <gasps> this is my brand new jumper that I bought two days ago and I'm so excited to show you. I have it's literally just come fresh out of the wash. Look how nice that is. Brand new, fresh out the wash. And I can't wait to wear that. I need to take a t-shirt out to wear tomorrow because I don't know if I've got one in here I can wear. That's the question when you pack. Do you know what you're actually packing? Um, let me see what I'm, I might take out my light pink t-shirt. Um, I might take out my light pink t-shirt to travel in. Um, I've also got my water bottle. But I'm also going to need that too tomorrow. That's not going in my suitcase. I've got my, I don't actually have a hand luggage, but I've got headphones for my laptop. My laptop is going. And I've got like a pencil case with pens and pencils and stuff in. I've got Yahtzee, and I told you it was a bit coming apart. You don't really. Um, I've got my iPad, but I need to download some stuff on that so that can stay over there. I've got word search books and a notepad, just cause, just in case. Um, now this is like a game. This is not really clothes. This is like coats and like other stuff. And then I've got my laptop and my laptop charger. Which... Now I would say that is a full suitcase and I have not got any hoodies in there or my running shoes because I need them tonight. So let me see. I have this blue one which is quite new. Not as new as my brand new one though but that. Hence brand new. Brand new ish stuff and um, let's see I've got this straw here and um, got this pink one and I've got this grey one which I might wear with my pink t-shirt that I've got tomorrow so that can go over there I think the rest of them are a bit thick they're quite worn um, I've also got this pink one here, which I wear quite a bit. 
have another pink one. Um, and I've also got this like light purple. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. This little, oh, it's dirty on the sleeves, but I might just run in it. If it's like, this is why I'm running because it's quite light. Um, and I've also got, I don't know what else I need. I've got my rucksack, which there is stuff in the front. Oh yeah, I've got my purse. Um, I've got my uh, power bank and charger. And I've got my charger and I've also got the wire for my charger for my phone. Um, also got two brand new face masks. Because that's the norm these days to take face masks. And I think that is it. There is quite a lot of stuff. Will it shut? Will it shut? Who knows? That's my um, that's my own problem to try and shut it. Because I've also got to get a pair of running shoes in after my run. So we'll um, oh, I've got to get a wash bag in there. Yeah, it's a bit difficult. That raincoat takes up like half my coat. This helmet and my coat literally takes up half my. If I took the coat out, I'll have bags more room, but I don't. Anyway, thank you so so much for watching. I don't think I've missed anything. Um, but I'll uh, I will see you bright and early in the morning for the very first holiday vlog, and I will see you then. Thank you very much for watching, please like and subscribe and obviously there will be no cooking videos for a while but I'll be straight back on them when I'm back because it'll be September so back for time to start filming videos. Thank you very much, please like and subscribe and I'll see you so very very soon.